CRMS building. Right, I, I didn't even know we had a CRMS building. Why don't they have the library listed? Ooh, NASA. Uh, let's, let's go up. So, it's not on the first floor, not on the second floor. Here, let's try the third floor. Oh dear. Sakes. Where is this place? Seriously? Really? That's not it. Let's go down again. Be honest, floor. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> there you are. The Kentucky Transportation Center Library, or Transportation Library for short, is on the first floor of the Oliver Raymond Building of UK Central Campus. The library supports the research, technology transfer, and educational efforts of the KTC. Serving UK faculty, staff, and students, state and local government officials, transportation professionals, and the general public. Research areas include bridge preservation, traffic and safety, pavements and materials, freight and logistics, intelligent transportation systems, decision support systems, planning, and structures. Librarian Laura Wayne has driven the Transportation Library since 1989. Through a contractual agreement between the UK Libraries and the KTC, she works closely with both organizations, meaning she has dual citizenship. Laura assists patrons, of course, but she's also responsible for selecting, acquiring, and processing materials and managing a collection of roughly 20,000 items. She promotes the publications of the Center, maintains the Transportation Research Guide, and assists the KTC in a variety of ways. Although Laura is a faculty member of the UK Libraries, the Transportation Libraries collection belongs to the Kentucky Transportation Center. Library materials are purchased with KTC funds, but they're not available in the library's catalog, InfoCat. The collection holds both scholarly and non-technical materials, and recently, KTC added their research reports going back to 1939 to UK Knowledge, the library's institutional repository. Unlike Laura, senior library technician Victoria Brock is an employee of KTC alone. She handles many of the day-to-day -day operations of the library. She also manages and maintains a large mailing list for the technology transfer program. The technology transfer program works with a lot of our, our local governments, your county road departments, your city public works departments, um, and then also state government and private industry some, but it's kind of like a providing training and technical assistance to them, uh, sharing new ways of doing things. We have materials that are, you know, that kind of are more non-technical that support their, their work. And then we have a pretty extensive video collection that a lot, that has been used pretty heavily. Um, we also check out um, equipment that they can use, yes. like the retro reflectometer. Yeah. And this is a gun that they can point at their stop signs and it'll tell them whether or not their stop sign is reflective enough. You know, they're supposed to be red and you're supposed to be able to see them when it's dark. Right. But we have seen stop signs that are pink. We've seen stop signs that are orange. Yeah. So this is a way to test them, make sure they're reflective, people can see them at night. And they check it out for like four weeks. And we that's actually, yeah. of all the things we check out, that is the most popular. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of unusual. That's part of our tech our association with the technology transfer program is this yes. providing technical assistance and the equipment yes. they need. You know, some of the equipment can be a little expensive and they can't afford to buy it. You know, all these local governments can't afford yeah. to buy it, but we can buy it and then share it, check it out. 
Essentially, the Technology Transfer Program bridges the gap between training and information needs and those tight budgets of Kentucky transportation agencies. It provides workshops and training events, how-to manuals, expert advice, legislative and regulatory news, on-site technical assistance, and access to the only transportation library in the Commonwealth. Our foot traffic is not all that high, but we do a fair amount of uh, assistance um, via email or phone. You know, they will call for information or publication. The library space is small, but how many libraries oversee hydrology testing? Only the Transportation Library, a hidden gem on UK Central Campus. A man in the video gets off of the backhoe because the shovel is not hooked properly and when he's supposed to use a tool to fix something, he sticks his hand through it and it chops it off. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty gruesome, but it, it, it was quite it's, it popular a, in its day. It had a really weird name. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and it was basically just gore. Yeah. <laughs> so, wow. Just horrible the things. gory story or something the like that. The gory story or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. This could happen to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Follow the rules. Safety first. Yeah.